Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I will be talking about Season 1, Episode 5 called The Changeling. This episode has finally gave us answers and gave us Emma's point of view and I'm here to give you my breakdown in theory. So let's get started. At the beginning of the episode, we see a flashback of Emma going to the lagoon and she was curious to see who is that old lady. When the old lady waved her hand to come to her, Emma leaves. She speaks with someone about the old lady by the lagoon and he stated that she shouldn't go near the washerwoman because she's a witch and is so badly haunted. But we already know that she went to see the washerwoman anyways. So I want to give a little deep dive about her and who she exactly really is. The Binaye is a Scottish for washerwoman or laundress is a female spirit in the Scottish folklore regarded as an omen of death and a messenger from the other world. She is the type of banshee, a female spirit in the Irish folklore, who hurts the death of a family member, usually by wailing or shrieking found near streams and rivers. If you by chance see her by a lonely pool of water, she'll be washing the blood from the clothes and death shrouds of those who are about to die. In fact, she foretells death and is also a messenger imparting knowledge or the granted of wishes, if approach, curiosity. Apollo has woken up from the cell and see a quote that is carved in and that maybe came from Emma. I did some research to see what the quote means and unfortunately I didn't find anything. Kyle aka Pearl comes to get Apollo but before she do, she gets interrupted by William that knows everything about her past history. It was very obvious that William is a tech savvy person because he had got access to her background and have been hacking and knowing someone's history. Apollo goes with Cal and she wanted him to understand there are things that must be understood before you go out there. She gives Apollo a book, the same book that he reads to Emma and baby Brian, which is the waters and the wow. Emma mentioned the book to Cal and how Apollo's father used to read him that story. I like how Cal is giving him clues about where he is, but also who they really are. And Apollo does not get it, so Kyle tries again to let Apollo know about the island. She said it was North Brother Island until it was remade. She shows Apollo the woman and children on the island. What I thought was interesting of how she explains to Apollo about how people happily hand over their babies in their private and most precious moments every day for the world to see. Also, she mentions the social media is poisonous. That's why Cal destroyed William's phone. I think that William uses his tech savvy ways to not only go into people's background history and spy, but also to locate and find children to kidnap. Now, this is just a theory. Finally, Apollo realized that Emma wasn't lying or she wasn't sick. Then you see Apollo being himself for the very first time by reading to the children. Now, I'm happy that he was having a good old time, but I was wondering when he was going to tell Kyle about what William said and how everyone was going to die if he doesn't get his way. We got to see Emma reach out to the wise moms group asking has anyone have felt like their baby isn't theirs. She received a DM from Kyle asking Emma if you are receiving disappearing text messages. Then when she received an unknown text message and saying don't listen to witches, she screenshot the message and then it disappeared. So for those that are out there trying to figure out why she didn't screenshot the message, this is why. Then we see baby Brian as a changeling. We actually see what Emma had to deal with when she had the baby. But you see that she doesn't want to hurt the baby and she knows deep inside it's not hers. I like how Kyle mentioned earlier to Apollo that Emma shows enormous strength and it shows a great dialogue from Linian sharing her advice, the knowledge and wisdom to Emma. I wonder would it made a difference if Emma spoke to Apollo's mother on what she was dealing with. Sometimes you need that support system and around that time Apollo wasn't supportive. We finally meet Greta at the end of the episode and she tells Apollo that William cleared out her bank account which is $70,000. William deposited that same amount of money to Apollo's account for that book. 
Apollo confronted William and William explains to Apollo that it's not his name and how he was able to find his own people and his true identity beneath his face. It was very obvious last episode that William's real name is Kindergarten. That's why I really didn't do a deep dive on that because it was just obvious. Of course, William is a tech savvy person and he was the one that was sending pictures to Emma and deleting it. So of course, he would have been the person that was kindergarten also this is how William sees Emma for the first time in the photo when she looked like a sorceress because remember William told Apollo how he knew them was when she had gave birth on a train so I believe that was a lie I enjoyed this episode this was a little better than the last one I would definitely rate this as an 8 out of 10 if you want to learn more about the folklore that surrounded the changeling trolls and Norwegian, check out my Scavenian folklore history and how it ties to the show. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Make sure you like and subscribe and until then, see you later.